and legend Ray Kennedy has died at the age of 70 after a long battle against Parkinson's disease, it was announced on Tuesday afternoon. The former forward started his career with the Gunners, making a total of 213 appearances between 1969 to 1974 and winning a first division title and FA Cup in that time. He then moved on to, where he helped the Reds win a total of 15 trophies including 5 league titles and 3 European Cups. He later went on to represent the likes of Swansea and Hartlepool along with Cypriot side Peso Perikos, while he also won 17 caps for England tributes have been flooding in from around the world of football since the sad news of his death was announced. Piers Morgan tweeted, Rip Ray Kennedy. Double winning star in 1971 and one of my first footballing heroes. Went on to play for and England. Fought a long courageous battle with Parkinson's disease. Very sad news. John Aldridge added, yet another magnificent XLFC star has passed away folks. Ray Kennedy what a player and lovely bloke who suffered so much with Parkinson's disease for most of his life. He will definitely never walk alone. Rip Ray's official statistician, Ged Rayer, tweeted, Rip Ray Kennedy. One of the legendary midfielders of any generation. His teammates and opponents knew just how brilliant he was. He fought a horrible illness for many years with great dignity and resolve. Truly gutted to hear this news, Kennedy will be perhaps best known for scoring the winning goal the night won the league at the home of their bitter rivals Tottenham in 1971. He received praise from a number of notable figures during his playing career, including S iconic manager Bob Pace. Writing in his autobiography in 1983 he said, Ray's contribution to S achievements was enormous and his consistency remarkable. So much so, in fact, that on the rare occasions he missed a match, his absence was felt deeply, simply because he was a midfield powerhouse with tremendous vision and knowledge of the game. In my view he was one of S greatest players and probably the most underrated, and are yet to make a statement regarding his death, but will no doubt pay tribute in due course.